Irina Balca has been living in Turkey with her four children for eight years. She is the head of the Russian Culture Foundation in Antalya. Russia isn't officially participating in the Antalya Expo, but she started setting up a Russian garden there. She hopes her garden will send out positive messages to both countries. This is our main mission, and uh, we want to um, help Russian-Turkish uh, friendship relationships to uh, get back and uh, um, healthy <laughs> level and um, to be even more successful than used to be. Irina also calls out to both Russian and Turkish leaders. I would love to invite uh, both leaders to come to my Russian pavilion <laughs> and sit together and uh, drink tea with uh, Russian uh, cakes <laughs> and uh, speak and uh, resolve all the problems between our countries. <laughs> there are 53 other exotic gardens in the Expo, representing countries from the Americas to the Far East. While Turkey hopes the Expo will revive its vital tourism sector, which has taken a hit in the past few months due to a political crisis, one of the main objectives of the Expo is to promote sustainable development and preserving nature. And that starts with teaching kids about protecting the environment. A number of activities have been scheduled in places like this children's island. What I like here the most is nature, the greens and flowers. Me too. Turkey hopes to earn $700 million from 8 million visitors over six months. But for Irina, mending ties between Ankara and Moscow is worth much more than money. Ahmet Hamdi Şişman, TRT World, Antalya.